I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to talk about all my favorite brushes that I really love from e.l.f. I feel like people don't realize that the brushes from e.l.f. are really good. Well, not all of them, but most of them are really good. I just wanted to come on here and just mention some of my favorites. Okay, so the first one is seriously like a holy grail brush of mine. Not just like an e.l.f. holy grail. This is like what I use every single day. And this is the e.l.f. blush brush. I have mentioned this before. A lot of people have mentioned this. If you don't own this yet... I highly, highly suggest you go get this. I don't use it for blush, but I do use it to set my under eye concealer, and it's seriously the best thing ever. It's like big and it's flat, so it really just like covers this whole area when you want to set, and then if you're also setting like concealer up here or down here, it's absolutely perfect. So it's just so much easier, and before I used to use this Real Techniques one, which is good too, but it's just smaller, so you gotta kind of like, you know, get in there. With this one, it's just like swipe swipe and then get in there and you're good to go so that is the elf blush brush my next one is this um is i love to use this for blending out my face after i've already put like everything on like foundation and bronzer and blush and this is the ultimate blending brush so it kind of like is what the name is and it's just like this flat kind of dense brush that looks like this but and it's so soft and actually you could use this for foundation you could use this to buff all this out you know really anything this is really similar to it's really similar to this Real Techniques brush, but for some reason I really prefer this one just because it's a little bit more dense than this one. So this is a really, really great brush, and this is the ultimate blending brush. Next, I was really, really obsessed with this for a while before I was introduced to my Beauty Blender, and this is their powder brush, and it looks like this, and it's like this flat top brush and it is so awesome for applying foundation i have recommended this to my friends and everything like that and they really really love it i have two of them actually because i love them so much and they're, it's just awesome it's not like really dense it's very movable but it's really great for applying your foundation and when you tap it it really taps everything out and makes it really nice so i would really suggest this one as well and this i'm suggesting everything in this video and this is the elf powder brush Next one is a really, really awesome brush that you wouldn't think that you would get from e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. Blending Brush. It's so awesome. I love using this for contour. Um, it is dense, but it's not too dense. If you're familiar with the NARS Eda, a lot of people don't like this because the bristles are kind of um, harsh and and it's not really dense enough. Personally, I love using both. I really love the NARS Eda for doing a quick contour because it does blend it out really nicely. This one you kind of need to, it kind of makes it kind of harsh, but as, as soon as you're in there blending, it really blends it out perfectly. So this is the e.l.f. blending brush. Next is for highlight. I love using this brush for highlight and this is the e.l.f. tapered brush. It looks like this. It is tapered at the end like this and so I like to dip this in my in my highlight and just highlight my cheeks and like my cheeks and or like my cheek bones, sorry, my cheek bones and like my cheeks right here and all around, you know, just where you highlight. And it's so awesome because it's tapered and I just like using this kind of brush. You could also use this to set out, to set your under eye. You could also use this to, um, ooh, you could also use this to contour. I bet you that would work. I never tried that. <gasps> you guys, this could be really good for contouring. And then I have two eye brushes. I'm not, I have been found a brush from e.l.f. that's good at blending, but these two are really, really great. And this first one is the e.l.f. concealer brush, and it looks like this. And I really love this to apply my base shadow. So if I'm applying a base shadow right on my eye, I really like to use this one because it's very dense and it's flat and you can be very precise with where you're going with the shadow, especially if you just want to put it on your lid and not bring it up to the crease and yada, yada, yada. So it's really good. And it's also really good for getting down under here and, and blending all that out. And then this next one, if you're looking for a good angled brush, um, just to kind of blend out, you know, your 
um, your eyeliner or if you want to use it for your brows this brush is really really great and it's affordable so why would you pay so much for just a little angled brush right so this is the small angled brush and it looks like this and the and the bristles are thin or like the hmm, I don't know what I say this. the thickness of it you can't see is pretty thin so it's not like a thick brush like this the real techniques one is so thick and I can't ever use it like how I want to use it and I really like this because the bristles aren't thick this isn't very dense I do have to say it's not very dense but it does the job so especially just like blending out things like here or under here it's just awesome so that is that and that was all the brushes I want to talk about. Yeah, that was it, you guys. I know, this was, like, super quick and easy. But I just wanted to mention those because I really, really love e.l.f. brushes. And they're really great. And you can get a lot of great things from e.l.f. So I know they're owned by somebody. And somebody told me in my comments below, or some, I forgot who. But someone told me they were owned by somebody, and I forget who. So if you know who they are owned by, or if the person who said that before is watching this, let me know it below because I forget who they're owned by. But they're owned by a major cosmetic company and I don't know who so I don't know anyways okay I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye